Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 24th of October 2022. Two from me today. I haven't done that for a while, have I? But over breakfast this morning, I read a very interesting article from a publication called news.com.au. So this is an Aussie publication. I've no idea if news.com is a mainstream publication there or uh, an alternative media source maybe you can let me know in the comment section below if you know but they apparently did a survey of upwards of 40,000 respondents and here is what they say I'll just read out the article and offer some of my thoughts as we go along so here we go more than half of respondents either said they regret getting treated or were untreated and happy with their decision. So that means, doesn't it, that more than half of people in Osnow are basically anti-treatment. Well, you know the word that people normally use, but more than 50% really that means they are that term doesn't it only 35% out of more than 45,000 people said they were treated and would make the same decision again not a single person said they were untreated and regret the decision <laughs> that's right isn't it you may well have seen memes online saying that there isn't a single well saying that there isn't a single one of us who regrets our decision although there's plenty of people out there who regret having gone the other way and i can certainly put my hand on my heart and say you know i certainly don't regret my decision either one fifth of respondents said they had received two lots of a treatment 26% they had three, 16% had four, whilst 37% said they had not taken any treatment. And then it goes on to say in this article, according to health department data, more than 20 million Australians have received at least one treatment or more than 95% of the over 16 population. So there is a bit of a disparity there. The officials say that it's 95% who have had the treatment and this survey is saying that 37% haven't had any treatment whatsoever. So uh, yeah, this whole thing that these governments wanted you to believe that you know people anti-treatment only form you know kind of a measly five percent of the population is looking a bit suspect there don't you think an overwhelming majority of respondents said they were no longer concerned about the lurgy and no longer wore muzzles in public settings half the respondents said they caught the lurgy with six percent of those catching it more than once whilst 40 percent said they never did Meanwhile, more than two-thirds of respondents said Australia's leaders had been too heavy-handed. So that's a massive, massive majority, isn't it? More than two-thirds, so probably about 70%, um, saying that Australia had been too heavy-handed. 25% said they did the best they could, and 8% said they did as well as any other country. But yeah, the fact that so many of them have said that, you know, things has been so heavy handed down there is saying something. And although I've only seen things from afar, it certainly looks that way to me as well, that um, Australia, along with a handful of other nations were ridiculously heavy handed. So that is the survey by this uh, news.com outfit and I thought that was pretty interesting don't you 
So don't know what your thoughts are gonna be. Please leave your comments in the comment section below, uh, down there, and I'll be back tomorrow. Tim from Fair Play Now, thanks for watching.